Now, Colin, you are the owner here of the Elite Gym, and it's actually the only gym in the whole country that has its very own bionic suit. Yes, it is. In fact, it's the only gym in the world that has a suit. There's, there's suits in um, we call it exoskeletons, and they're in some clinical centres around the world and rehabilitation centres, but this is the only actual gym in the world that, we have that has a suit. So, Colin, what's the difference to having the bionic suit here in a gym as opposed to a rehabilitation clinic or a hospital? Firstly, it's very accessible, and people can use it at almost all times. In some of the clinics it's been in, you might be able to use it between the hours of 10 and 12 or 2 and 4 or something, and maybe three days a week because they have to have so many people around. But here you can use it anytime you want, and we make them very open. Plus the people themselves, um, they're coming to the gym and they're training, and they feel normal and accepted, and that makes them um, feel better mentally, and it also helps them work harder as well. But they're, they're surrounded by people who are working hard as well, and they get encouragement, but it's not, it's not um, kind of special encouragement, it's, it's encouragement for hard work that people are doing and it comes across well. And you're raising the funds to cover the cost of using it in the gym as well? Yeah, so we have two elements to our fundraising. One is to pay for the machine itself and then we're also fundraising so that it's accessible to everyone. So if someone has a problem and needs to learn to walk but can't afford it, we will make sure you can afford it by our charity. So Nathan, you are the reason that this bionic suit is here in the gym. Where did you come across it first? Um, I first saw it um, in rehab um, I saw some people walking around in it and I was like that's a good way to go. I think we're going to need to get one of those when I come back to Ireland. Um, so we just went ahead um, and we, we, we got one here uh, just before Christmas. It's going to cost €150,000 to buy. Uh, we've managed to rent it for just one year. Uh, and that will give us enough time to raise the money. It's an awful lot of money, um, but it's, it's crucial. Um, for me, it's all about getting up out of the wheelchair and getting moving and not being in the wheelchair and getting the benefits of walking. Nathan, what would be the benefits of using the suit? Um, yeah, so if, if you're sitting down for a long period of time, um, you just want to get up out of the chair. Um, it can help the blood flow your whole body with the movements and um, retain bone density and um, already I've noticed a big change in my muscle mass in my legs um, and also just for your internal organs just to be able to um, just to move and uh, just your, your bowel and bladder and your whole digestive system works much better when you're up and moving and active so it's just about keeping the body healthy and in good condition um, and, and out of a sitting position how has it come about that you've needed to use a wheelchair? Well, I, I was diagnosed with MS, uh, primary progr progressive MS, uh, four years ago, and it has steadily progressed along to from being able to walk to not being able to walk unaided, and um, I find myself now having to use a wheelchair more often than, than not. You know, I went from being, being at work, driving, to um, had, had a major um, uh, nose dive with it, and. Um, it took me a little while to get back up and then when I went back to the hospital there, were, there was no drugs available for primary progressive MS so I had to concentrate on using alternative ways of, of, of um, trying to deal with my symptoms. You know? and, and the bionic suit is one of them? Yes, it would be one of those, yes, because it w it, I find it, it to be rehabilitative in, in that it, it works your muscles in, in the legs and like my right leg would be my main problem where it would have the weakness and in turn, by using this machine, um, you're actually walking almost normally again, instead of instead of not not walking at all. When you find that you can no longer walk unaided, you know mentally it, it does have an effect on you, and it can it can you know you know bring you down. But by ne by being able to walk with this machine, it it actually you know it just clears your mind. You know, to be honest giving you the hope that you that you need yes yeah 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 I, I, you know I always keep that hope there that I will actually start walking again on it so you know this is this is part of the, the process for me to, to get there and how did the first time go it was good yeah um, I got a lot out of it I, I kind of I've been using a wheelchair now for about nine years so it um, it definitely helped kind of loosen out the muscles and stuff like that and uh, I had less spasticity then afterwards in my legs, um, so it was definitely 
felt, uh, felt a lot better. So you felt immediate effects? Well, yeah, like there was an immediate kind of uh, like difference in the tone of my muscles and my legs. Um, but then I suppose, you know, I would need to be using it more regularly to, to, to get the more benefit from it, I suppose, you know, in terms of uh, improving bone density and stuff like that in my, in my legs and, and um, just improving blood flow and stuff. So hopefully now uh, with the, the fact that I am close enough to this gym and, and that it's accessible to, to me, it's a great opportunity and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to using it in the future. One step at a time, we'll concentrate on getting this one first and then uh, hopefully we'll progress and uh, uh, when people see the benefits, um, we'll, we'll get more people behind us and we'll try and get these into gyms accessible to everyone in wheelchairs. No matter what their condition is, MS, stroke, paralysis, just get them up out of the wheelchair and get the benefits of it. Yeah. We have a saying down here that no matter who you are, you can come down here and work hard. So whether you're in a wheelchair or whether you have some other illness or you're just a person who wants to get fit, everyone comes down here and works hard. So we make it that it's open to everybody to train hard and improve themselves.